Welcome back to the show. You know, telling yourself to eat healthier is just a little ambiguous, right? Well, a new cookbook by author Dr. Gary Dang gives readers step-by-step -step instructions on how to cook for a healthier life. We're going to make a miso-coated white fish dish because okay. we all know fish are healthy. They're better than red meat, but we don't want to eat baked salmon every day, right? Well, I'm excited for that. Now, I'm grateful that we have so much salmon in the Pacific Northwest, but one does get a little sick of it. So whitefish does seem like a nice alternative. How do we get started in making this dish? You can use cod or halibut. So you can look. So the best is the fresh one, right? If you cannot buy the fresh one, the frozen one is okay, but this should be about an inch thick. Okay. And you just cut it, trim it. Here's the trick. You blot it dry with a paper towel. Because ah. if it's wet, the thing doesn't stick to it. So you blot it dry, make it really dry, and then you mix it with miso. So there, I use two kinds of miso, the, the more yellow one, uh, the more red one, and the white one. The white one is very creamy and subtle in taste. The, the red one has a little bit more pungent. Okay. Miso is fermented soy. So it has a lot of umami, and also it's come from a healthy protein, plant protein. And all you have to do is mix miso, the two misos, you can have some mirin. So this is a Japanese inspired dish. And in some nice restaurant you will have, it's very expensive, but you can do it with maybe one quarter of the price at home. It's nice. Not hard. It's not that hard. So this mirin basically is cooking wine, sake with some uh, sugar in there. And you got rice vinegar, and you got some oil. So you can use canola oil, some mild flavor oil. And then you just mix the miso with all of these things together and then just coat, coat the fish. Make sure it's evenly coated and put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours to marinate it. So okay. the flavor is building. That's a key point, right? Like to make sure it gets the flavor, you've got to take the time to marinate it, right? Exactly. The, the okay. fish should be dry. Otherwise, the, the flavor doesn't pen penetrate, doesn't stay and marinate for a couple hours. You can marinate overnight, it will be even better. Okay. And while you're marinating, preheat the oven, 350 degree Fahrenheit, just preheat it, and then you transfer this into the oven and just hit start, 20 minutes. It depends on how thick it is. You know, if it's thinner, 15 minutes, uh, if it's thicker, 20 minutes, and then you can check on it um, after 15 minutes, just make sure it's not overcooked. And once it starts to flake a little bit, at the end result, it looks like this. Oh, because of, because of the miso, it has a nice crust and very flavorful. You can just smell it. I hope you can smell it through the screen. I can smell it from here. Now I have such a craving for that umami flavor. Yeah. What else can people learn from your book? Tell us about it. So the book is inspired by my patients. Uh, I, I am a medical director for the Integrative Medicine Service at Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. In my daily clinical work, we consult patients on how to eat healthy, how to live healthy, not only um, eat healthy, but also mental health, right? Stress yes. reduction and so on. And patients always ask, well, that's all nice, but I need something I can put my hands on, I can practice in my own home, in my kitchen. So they inspire me to write this book. There's several principles. You know, one thing I find wanting is a lot of cookbooks took a very extreme view, like eat only raw diet or zero carb diet. I don't think that's a healthy diet in the long run, right? Because the body needs hundreds of nutrients. So one of the principles in wellness is to eat a diverse diet, a variety mm -hmm. of food, and you don't have to sweat each individual one as long as your average diet is healthy, plant-based, uh, less animal protein, more fresh ingredient, you'll be good. So that's a key principle. Yeah. And at Sloan Kettering, dealing with cancer patients, I can imagine uh, taste, whole foods are important to help them get strong, right? Very important because uh, their body is under stress during cancer treatment. And sometimes their digestive function doesn't work well. So here in the wellness principle, a lot of recipes we cook food at a lower temperature, longer period of time, so they're easy to digest. Also, yeah. you know, for cancer prevention, you know, how to reduce risk of cancer recurrence, how you eat and what you eat and the schedule of your eating, there are some studies showing that may even be yeah. also important.
Yes, I believe that. What are some other recipes in the book we can try? The one I like the most is the so-called full spectrum salad, uh, because which is kind of, I invented the name. It's basically a rainbow color salad. You can basically generate 10 to 20 different salad dish from that one recipe. It is so healthy. It has a variety of superfoods. Doesn't that look good? Well, Dr. Dang also shared his miso white baked white fish recipe on our website. You can find it there right now.